based on what what is your behavior in the past, in the past for example okay. perhaps this last time uh, you prefer to be reached out by facebook okay you know? then now you prefer to be uh, maybe you have uh, uh, promoted yeah. you know, or something <laughs> you know? so you you prefer to be uh, going through your secretary or, okay. or so so things change but how, how about the date do you do like uh, in singapore like if you want to see uh, where's the best date we normally use feng shui <laughs> yes, maybe how come you you spend only 2.5 2 minutes and 30 seconds in our website oh, so okay. so what is the average uh, um, where do you normally go we are not perfect yeah. uh, there's no way to be perfect we just hope that we are above 50 percent mm. of what we want to achieve okay. and i think the goal is always there okay. and every year it will it will just move further <laughs> Semuanya, nama saya Roland dan hari ini kita uh, bisa bertemu dengan Pak Steven. Pak Steven ini General Manager dari Read Panorama. Yep. Dan hari ini kita akan mencari tahu bagaimana caranya merencanakan suatu event. Mungkin uh, nanti wawancaranya akan dalam bahasa uh, Inggris. Nanti kita akan ada terjemahan di bawah ini. Hai Pak Steven, how Hello. are you? Thanks for having Good. us. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, just would like to ask um, on the preparations for the IME or Indonesian Marine Expo, which will be held, I think, uh, next month, right? Yes, yes. yes. Right, Indonesian Maritime Expo, uh, IME, okay. we call it for short, uh, it will be held next, next month, next from month? the 16th to 18th of uh, October 2019 in Kamoyoranja Expo. Okay. So, uh, in IME is actually part of the Global re-exhibition uh, global maritime portfolio. Okay. Of course, uh, with the uh, the bigger shows uh, in happening in uh, Singapore, it's called Asia Pacific Maritime, and also a, a very big uh, uh, um, shipbuilding exhibitions okay. in uh, Korea. Okay. Yeah, we call Com Marine, and of course uh, for the Indonesia market, we will have this uh, Indonesian Maritime Expo. Right. I think uh, next month you'll be looking at uh, a very unique exhibition where we actually campaign this event across all over the world okay. and you'll be seeing national groups coming from various parts of the world including uh, from Holland okay. we will be seeing a uh, Holland pavilion you have see China pavilion Singapore pavilion uh, all forming by the, the by the governments to offer solutions technologies and uh, equipments into the this uh, maritime sectors, Indonesia is a very unique market. You know? um, of course, uh, when you look at the industry value chain, uh, of course, in terms of the archipelago, okay. you know, Indonesia are strongly supported by the the domestic shipping routes that that uh, a lot of our ship ship uh, vessel owners are covering, and about twenty percent of the of the vessel owners are covering the uh, ocean freight ocean okay. sectors. Right. And then, uh, of course, in terms of the shipbuilding industry, we have a very robust uh, industry. And, uh, and I think that is where uh, these exhibitions will cover the entire maritime industry value chain. Okay. Uh, whether it's the shipbuilders who are looking for a solution for their shipyards, or whether it's the ship owners that are looking for new solutions to address some of the current issues. Okay. Yeah, I said, especially when you talk about the South. The sulfur issues yeah, coming up uh, issues, next yeah. next year, next year uh, or whether is it the adoptions of uh, biofuel, okay. you know, such as uh, um, uh, those that will be implemented has already been implemented, okay. and what are the solutions for them to be more efficient okay. and uh, in in their in the maintenance and okay. uh, so on and so forth. Yeah. So just now you speak about uh, low sulfur fuel. Can you yes. say a little bit more? Well, I guess uh, the low sulfur was actually a, a global initiative uh, okay. to to be to that will be implemented uh, very okay. soon. In okay. fact, next year, and uh, globally, a lot of them has been uh, uh, working on uh, okay. uh, how to have a low sulfur fuel or low sulfur emission in a way. So. Uh, the, the impact is actually on those uh, uh, ship owners, uh, okay. the vessels uh, that are moving, that, that they need to have, uh, for all vessels, probably they need to look at solutions or technologies or, or even a uh, new range of fuel to support 
uh, this initiative. Uh, definitely, it's an increase in cost, but I think uh, globally, what what the marine industry is seeing is that it's uh, it will contribute to a sustainable uh, industry. Yeah, I think it's quite new already. Now it's already almost October, by right? September yeah. coming to October, and. I think the low sulfur uh, fuel regulation is starting I think 1st January 2020. Yes. So Indonesia will, will need to work hard. I think not only Indonesia, I think globally, I think globally yes. uh, Indeed. We, 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 need, we all need to work hard for, for this regulation. Right, that's why being an, an organizer now yeah. is very different you know, okay. as a professional exhibition organizer worldwide. What we look into is in the exhibition, it's just not about uh, having the number of booths, uh, getting everybody so in the exhibitions there are always uh, different behaviors of the customers okay. some of them are looking for technology some of them are looking for solutions mm -hmm. and sometimes it's about networking as well yeah. so so for us in indonesian maritime expo we don't only offer the exhibition parts we also have education solution platforms conferences and seminars okay. networking opportunities to really share what are the developments okay. you know, in, in other, other countries, the latest technology that can help the business owners, the vessel okay. owners especially, you know, to look into how to be more efficient in cost mm -hmm. and also to, to be the forefront of the industry. Okay, Basifan, I'm a bit curious actually, how do you actually uh, plan an event like uh, IME, which is uh, quite a huge, huge market, right? How do you play, plan like in terms of size, instead of uh, where's the venue, in terms of uh, date, maybe you can say. Right, I guess uh, in the maritime industry, of course, okay. uh, I will not, I will have to say that I'm glad to be part of free exhibitions okay. uh, because globally we, we, we professionally run on ourselves okay. uh, over 500 exhibitions. So there is always a standard way of uh, um, we call it the, uh, the research and analysis okay. that we do in and understanding the industry value chain okay. uh, of uh, the, the entire industry. So, uh, for example, in terms of maritime industry, you know, we have a global meeting uh, to address, to present our Indonesia industry value chain of the maritime, oh, okay. and then the Koreans will present and okay. we share differences. You no, know, because end of the day, every country has their own. Um, different uh, industry value chain okay. and uh, whether is it uh, um, customers or attendees or visitors in Indonesia mm -hmm. what are the key things that they are looking for uh, what is their needs okay. and then based on the needs we, we, we have to understand uh, how to design the exhibition to suit their needs okay. yeah. but how, how about the date do you do like uh, in Singapore like if you want to see uh, where's the best date we normally use Feng Shui <laughs> yes, maybe maybe I well, also oh, using okay, uh, I will have to say yes and no. Uh, okay. Very importantly, in the whole world, uh, okay. uh, the maritime calendar is split into many different okay. areas. You no, know? whether is it the big show in uh, Greece or whether okay. is it in, in the US. You know? okay. there are always uh, global dates mm. that uh, whether the Koreans, the Japan, and Europeans. You no, know? so we have to make sure that our dates are slotted in at the right time. Okay. You know? So uh, in Indonesia, we have worked through uh, a, bit, a variety of dates. Okay. And of course, uh, you also have to look into the availability of the hall in Indonesia okay. and also have to look at the global dates. Because if you, if you clash your show, because maritime is such a connected industry. Okay. So if you have a big show happening in Holland, for example, okay. you'll be sure that Whichever show you do in every part of the world, okay. the key buyers will not come, mm. the key solution provider will be more busy okay. focusing on the show in Holland rather than in other, other key areas. So, so yes, states, states are important. Okay. Yeah. So that's the date. Yes. How about the venue size? How big? Well, venue size, of course, it all depends on, uh, on the industry itself. Okay. Uh, I think more importantly, we talk about its location okay. because a lot of people are always asking me, why are we in uh, Kamayoran where some of your shows are in GCC yeah, and right. some of your shows yes, in yes, elsewhere. Yes. So I think it's all about visitor feedback. Oh, you know? okay. um, the industry, whether do they, do they accept the show to be 
in uh, in this part of the Jakarta or okay. whatsoever. Okay. And of course, uh, working with our global group, okay. you no, know, we also have to estimate out what are the pavilions that we are going to work with, and uh, how many um, overseas. Uh, uh, solution providers and local providers that we are able to harness in the exhibition. Okay. Right. So we have shows that are very big, and there are shows that are mid size, and uh, there are shows that is uh, in a growing stage. Okay. But I think very importantly of all, it all depends on the industry. Okay. But for us, we we look into the successful uh, exhibition based on a few key key values. I think most important is the successful. Uh, um, whether our customers are able to get what they want okay. in the exhibitions and uh, whether they because when we look into customers okay. you know, especially visitors we look into their their behaviors you know? okay. so sometimes they have a uh, different needs mm. some of the customers are coming into the show because they know that they have a product some of the sh SBT, some of the buyers that come over they are just looking around and f trying to find out what is what that they can buy mm. And some of them coming with a, with with an opinion of let's let's learn something. You know? yeah. Some of them is that they have a question that that wants to be answered, and some of them is just I want to network with more of my friends. So the behavior of our customers are always ever changing. So understanding them and creating the right platform and and um, giving them the right experience is is what we are always driving at. Okay, Pasifan, just now uh, we talk about fair news. And where's the size? Where's the best locations? Right now, we like um, want to know how do you set up like a seminar? How do you invite the speakers? And what topic are you choosing? What's the best topic? Right, I guess uh, when it comes to conference program, okay. uh, first thing first, we we have a we have a um, a, a team. Okay. Right. Uh, sometimes it might not be in Indonesia. So we, 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 we discuss about what are the global challenges okay. and what are the local challenges. And then of course, uh, what are the technology that is in the, in the forefront okay. that we would like to present. So we have probably a very, several streams of uh, subjects. Oh, okay. And then bringing, of course, nothing is useful okay. until you meet up with the industry leaders, the industry stakeholders. And then they will tell you what are the topics that, oh, this is interesting and oh, that's not. Okay. So that's how, that's how our programs are mapped out. No, we we are not the well. Yes, we are professional exhibition organizers. We crunch a lot of data. So we do, we okay. do a lot of research. But end of the day, it's the buyers and the sellers. It's the exhibitors and the visitors okay. that will give you the feedback of okay. what is the best food that interests them. So a lot of uh, surveys and 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 uh, reconfirming with the industry associations, you know, such as INSA. Perindo and okay. and even uh, from the ministry side, they will always share with us what are the topics that they felt is important to address. You know? so that's that's how that's how the conference topic is is uh, structured out. Okay, right. Then uh, now we talk about marketing and publicity. How do you actually market out on um, telling the world that I'm here? Right. Uh, I think of course uh, one on one part is also because. Um, in uh, for us, we are going okay. through a global business transformation. Okay. Uh, we are adopting a lot on on uh, how we look into our data analytics, okay. how we improve on our digital marketing. Okay. But one thing that we must always know is that every of our buyers and every of our exhibitors have a preferred way to be reached out to them. Okay. So whether is it. Uh, uh, when we do shows like uh, the building shows, or we do shows like franchise or maritime, there are always different uh, uh, customers that will be will prefer to be reached out in, let's say, through social media or through the traditional mailing campaigns. And it, we have to go through a lot of uh, uh, streamlining our data journey and uh, really understanding what how we are going to reach out to, so that we don't just blast it to everyone. You know, throwing okay. them with all the news, okay. but really to focusing on do we get you, are we able to reach out to you, some of them will prefer phone calls. Okay. So that's why oh, we do have you make a call actually? Yes, okay. we have our business relation team, okay. whether is it in Indonesia or outside Indonesia, we engage our our other parts of our okay. business unit to to engage. Yeah, so it's a very different thing. You know? so some of them, they indicated very strongly that they would prefer to receive the traditional okay. um, invitation card 
and it has been it has to be done. You know? mm. So so we also have our buyer relations oh, okay. uh, team and uh, host of buyers etc. So all these are performing into a uh, uh, integrated um, okay. solution that that uh, is how we how we are able to reach out to them. So this business transformation started in 2015. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, we are working on the uh, structures and processes, crunching okay. data, and uh, in fact, uh, just last week I did a presentation about uh, our businesses. You know, there are about seven, seven to eight different uh, softwares that we use, and it's not, and they are now integrated through APIs to ensure okay. that our automated marketing continue to provide people who want to have the news or people who want to be reached out in a WhatsApp, you know, all these kind of solution is no longer uh, done um, in a single way. So we look into our customer journeys and the experience okay. so that they, we can continue to keep improving on that. Yeah. Okay. So seven to eight platform just to do the marketing? Or oh, that's, that's huge? Eh? I think end of the day it's all about uh, uh, understanding our customer needs. Okay. You know? uh, some of them uh, they might be in our database you know, okay. uh, for, for, for three, four years. Oh, okay. you know? uh, we need to really understand what makes them want to visit an exhibition. It could be as simple as, if my friend goes, I will go. Oh, or okay. if this supplier is there, I will go. You know? so, so a lot of times, each, each and each individual customers are unique. Mm. And to really understand them, we need to really address their needs by providing our features of the exhibition so that it will become their benefits. Okay. So it's all in this world. It's all about benefits now. Yeah. You know, what is the benefit for me to go? You know? So okay. uh, needs are ever changing, and there's always a different kind of uh, uh, needs and okay. behavior uh, needs and uh, benefits that each of them have. Okay. You know? I believe, uh, like one of my friends okay. you know, who went over to a to a franchise show last week. Okay. You no, know, their needs are each of them have different needs. So we need okay. to customize needs and uh, draw out the recommendations for them, what you, what, you, what you will see in the show, and it's all customized now. Mm. Okay. Um, actually, that's why you talk about Franchise Expo. Actually, I, we did went oh. to the <laughs> Franchise Expo, and we tried to see how's uh, our customer experience. Right. Like, so from the registrations all the way to the, to the, mm -hmm. to the uh, get a, uh, I think we enjoy a VIP lounge. Then right. After, okay. Yeah, we, we review the VIP lounge. Then after that, we have a business matching. Right. Yeah. Then there's a then there's a guide, and and we can have a look at the, this video right after this. Hi semuanya, nama saya Roland. Hari ini kita berada di salah satu pameran yang diselenggarakan oleh Rit Panorama. Dan kebetulan hari ini kita mendapat VIP tiket dari Rit Panorama. Ayo kita cek. Bagaimana proses registrasi dan fasilitas VIP yang diberikan? Ayo langsung aja. VIP dapatnya lalu banget dan antriannya juga gak gitu banyak orang langsung saja kita registrasi dengan Bapak Roland ya iya betul ya baik kira-kira uh, Bapak nanti akan uh, mau datang sebagai perwakilan perusahaan atau investor individu nah, perwakilan perusahaan aja oke okay, baik dan kira-kira uh, Bapak lebih tertarik untuk segmen bisnis yang mana nih? Kita ada franchise, retail solution, licensing, cafe brasserie, dan juga ada startup, Pak. Oh, startup boleh. Startup boleh. Oh, logistik ada? Logistik, logistik real. Logistik kita ada, Pak. Ada ya? Ada. Selain itu juga ada kita ada food and beverage, ada laundry juga, ada uh, printing, dan juga oh. beauty center, seperti itu, Pak. Kira-kira Bapak tertarik yang mana? Mungkin logistik, otomotif, okay. startup mungkin yang tadi ya? Kalau iya, Pak, ada. ada. Bapak, Bapak sudah mendapatkan badges-nya atas nama Roland Permana dan Bapak juga dapat visitor guide dan Bapak bisa juga dapat minuman gratis Bapak tinggal datang ke booth Bartitonya saja dan melihatkan ini Baik, ini untuk badges dan 
Office Tour Guide, lalu untuk kuponnya ya Pak. Okay. Terima kasih Bapak Ronald. VIP Pass yang kita udah dapat, langsung aja kita pakai. Ah, lewat sini dulu. Di scan dulu ya Pak ya. ya terima kasih. Oke, okay, kasih. Selamat siang, siang Pak. Siang, Pak. Perkenalkan, saya Rangga. Dengan Bapak siapa? Pak Roland. Roland. Baik. Ya. Pak Roland dari tamu VIP kami. Betul. Ada yang bisa kami bantu Pak? Iya Pak, tadi saya lihat ada ini. Ini apa ya Mas? Oh Bukan iya. Tahu. Jadi kebetulan pada saat Bapak registrasi, okay. itu Bapak diberikan rekomendasi. Okay. Kebetulan kalau kami lihat ini mayoritas Bapak memilih retail dan kurir oh, okay. untuk pilihan rekanan bisnis Bapak. Okay. Nah di sini ada NCL, ada RPX, ada Exhibition Company Count, okay. dan ini adalah rekomendasi yang nantinya bisa menjadi rekanan bisnis Bapak. Oke, okay. jadi ini rekomendasi, rekomendasi ya? Rekomendasi, betul. Oke. Okay. Dan Bapak, karena VIP, okay. kami berikan kesempatan minimal 5 meeting, Pak. 5 meeting, untuk ya? Untuk bertemu dengan exhibitor kami, untuk memberikan okay. pengalaman dalam bisnis Bapak. Oke, okay. di luar ini, Pak? Di luar ini, okay. ataupun Bapak, rekomendasi ini sesuai dengan harapan Bapak, Oke. Okay. kita akan temukan. Oke, okay. mungkin bisa dipandu, Mas? Boleh, bisa sini? banget, bisa, bisa banget, Pak ya? Bisa banget. Yuk, langsung aja kita dipandu sama Mas Rangga. Mas, kayaknya saya tertarik tuh sama NCS, sama mungkin member pos. Oh baik, boleh saya pinjam for play-nya, Pak? Oh iya, boleh. Ya, silakan. Jadi kalau sana tujuan Bapak ke RPX dan member pos, okay. jadi kita nanti akan ke base 9, 19, dan base 10, 20. Lokasinya dekat VIP lounge. Oke. Okay. Bisa okay. kita langsung ke sana, Pak? Boleh, ayo. Ayo, langsung aja. Jadi ini beberapa exhibitor yang okay. udah menjadi rekanan kami. Di sini ada dari internasional dan juga okay. ada dari nasional. Oke. Okay. Jadi kalau untuk internasional kita pisahkan. Kalau internasional ada sebelah kiri saya. Dia ada Singapura, ada Malaysia, maupun dari berbagai macam negara lainnya. Oke. Okay. Di sini bukan hanya tentang bisnis makanan saja. Oke. Okay. Tapi kita juga di sini banyak selain makanan. Kita selain ada F&B, kita juga ada retail. Oke. Okay. Kita juga ada rekreasi, okay. kita juga ada edukasi, atau Bapak punya minat untuk menjadi uh, retail bisnis seperti Indomart, Alfamart, kita juga menyediakan. Oke, okay. jadi, jadi tertarik ke logistik sih sebenarnya? Logistik ya, iya. baik. Kalau logistik, kita tadi berarti ke RPX dulu Pak ya. Betul. Baik, kita ke RPX Yuk. terlebih dahulu. Ayo Pak, mari Pak. Eh, ada yang jualan juga ya, jualan makan juga ya. di sini. Di sini cukup banyak Pak. Jadi ya saya okay. bilang tadi ada makanan, kita juga ada bagian uh, bapak suka kopi, kita juga okay. ada tempat UTB kopi, oh, ini tempat racikan oh, kopi okay. lebih tepatnya. Oke. Okay. Kita sebelah kiri pak. Sebelah kiri. Oke. Okay. Wih besar juga ya pak. Di sini kita berapa eksibitor di sini pak? Kurang lebih eksibitor kita ada 175 update terakhir oh. dan itu masih bertambah. menyediakan scan. Oh, oke. Okay. Database dari Bapak nanti bisa dapat oleh exhibitor oh, scan ini. Nanti ya? boleh dibantu scan okay. dari Ibu. Boleh. Okay. Baik. Aku coba ya. Oke. Okay. Oh, langsung. Kelihatan tuh data-data saya nih. Jadi nggak perlu nyimpan lagi ya? Nggak perlu, Pak. Nggak perlu Bapak cukup datang, Bapak tunjukin bijis Bapak, nanti okay. Data Bapak oh, okay. otomatis masuk. Wah, oh, canggih banget Jadi ya Bapak, sekarang ya. Fungsi oh. database itu selain untuk Bapak kunjungan juga untuk menjadi rekanan bisnis di masa depan. Oke, oh, oke. Okay, okay. Gak perlu kita ketik-ketik, gak perlu ketik, -ketik, ketik perlu. sendiri. Gak oh, ribet banget itu. Betul Pak, betul banget. Sip. Oke. Okay. Baik Pak, tadi kita sudah berkunjung ke salah satu bisnis okay. kita. Okay. Exhibitor kita, member post dan RPX okay. itu semoga bisa jadi pengalaman bisnis Bapak di masa okay. depan baik. dan juga Bapak bisa bekerja sama dengan baik pastinya. Betul, betul. Dan karena Bapak VIP juga kita akan antar Bapak nih ke VIP Lounge untuk okay. kita santai-santai, okay. kita ngobrol lebih enjoy lagi. Baik. Jadi kita saya arahkan Bapak ke VIP Lounge. Kita ke sebelah okay. kanan Pak. VIP jadi di VIP Lounge itu Bapak bisa didapatkan fasilitas seperti air minum, okay. lalu juga makanan-makanan okay. yang bisa 
membuat suasana Bapak lebih rileks lagi, okay. lebih enjoy lagi. Dan ini juga salah satu eksibitor-eksibitor kita. Kalau yang sebelah kiri saya ini dari internasional, Pak. Oke. Okay. Dia ada dari Singapura. Singapura ya. Kalau Malaysia di seberangnya lagi ada. Okay. Kita juga ada dari Amerika, okay. dari Australia, ada juga dari Chinese. Oke. Okay. Itu berbagai macam negara ikut serta dalam kegiatan franchise di bulan September ini. Oke. Okay. Nah, kita sudah sampai, oh, Pak, okay. di VIP lounge ya, Kita juga ya. menyediakan power bank rental. Jadi okay. kalau handphone Bapak Lobet, bisa pakai power bank kita Langsung di sini. Langsung rental dari sini, ya? dari sini. Oh. Ayo, Pak, silakan masuk, Pak, okay. di VIP lounge -nya. Di VIP lounge Dan ini ya. salah satu tim kami. Halo. Halo. Bisa, silakan. Oh, scan dulu ya? ya Oke, okay. baik. Dari VIP ya? Betul. Oke, okay, siap. Siap. Kasih ya. Dari VIP Lounge kita, kita juga menyediakan makanan-makanan. Lalu kalau Bapak suka kopi, kita okay. juga menyediakan kopi. Nanti okay. bisa dibantu sama barista kita. Oh, ada kue juga. Ya, ada kue-kue juga. Ini salah satu kopi yang disediakan dari VIP Lounge Street okay. Panorama. Oke. Okay. Okay. Selain ada kopi juga, kita ada minuman-minuman lainnya ya. Oke. Okay. Seperti Bapak lihat di depan. Oke. Okay. Banyak sekali fasilitas yang kita berikan untuk pengunjung VIP kita untuk mendapatkan kenyamanan okay. dan juga mendapatkan experience lebih dalam okay. kunjungan di pameran uh, okay. bulan September ini di franchise. Okay. Tadi gimana Pak perjalanan ya keliling-keliling dari eksibitor kita? Kayaknya ramai ramai banget ya. Ramai Pak ya. ya ramai ini baru hari banget. pertama loh Pak. Oh gitu. Baru hari pertama. Paling kita masih ada ramai. Sabtu dan Minggu masih dua hari lagi. Dua hari lagi ya. Wah, kalau Sabtu itu berapa orang nanti ya? Kita Pek targetkan banget. sih bisa dua kali lipat dibanding hari Jumat lipat ini. Ya. Eksibitornya tadi sekitar seratusan ya, seratusan. Untuk eksibitor kita 170 ke atas. 170 ke atas ya. Acara franchise ini betul. Dan ya. tadi juga Bapak sudah melakukan kunjungan bismatch ya, dengan okay. beberapa eksibitor kita dan Bapak sebelumnya sudah terima email belum jadwal-jadwal kunjungan meeting Bapak dengan eksibitor kita? Oh ada sih? Ada, oh. Bapak boleh cek di email cek deh Pak. Ya. Okay. Nah ini ada nih, nah, kayak jadi, gitu ya? Betul, okay. jadi okay. ini salah satu jadwal meeting Bapak oh, dengan okay. eksibitor kita. Nanti Bapak tinggal kunjungi bootnya sesuai jadwal tertera di sini. Oh, okay, dan Bapak okay. nanti bisa melakukan bisnis dengan eksibitor-eksibitor yang sudah request dengan Bapak pastinya. Oh, gitu. Oke, okay, oke. Okay. Jadi di sini kita bisa uh, buat schedule juga ya. Buat schedule juga Mereka bisa. Bertemu langsung dengan langsung bertemu dengan decision maker kali ya. Uh, kebetulan untuk bisnis matching ini mayoritas Pak ya. Mayoritas oh, eksibitor okay. itu dia langsung dengan direktur, langsung manajer divisi oh, okay, terkait. Okay, 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 okay. Jadi langsung level Uh, high ke atas. Oke oh, oke okay, okay. baik baik baik. Terima kasih ya pak ya. Baik terima Sudah kasih kembali pak. Dipandu sampai sekarang. Baik terima kasih. I think the feedback is quite good actually. Uh, the registration is fast. I'm not sure about the registration for the regular, the pre-registered, but for VIP is like 
maybe two, two, three seconds, I get the pass. Right, but right. On the pass, I see at the back, there's uh, five recommendations of uh, uh, best suitable things um, for you. Things <laughs> for us, yeah. So right, we don't right, need to, right. like, in the exhibition hall, there's like, there's like hundreds of exhibitors. Sometimes we go in, we, we, we don't even know uh, why, why is this company about. So, so that, that, that is very good actually. That's a very good idea where you have uh, five recommendations. So we, we can straight away go to all these five. And another thing that is unique, very unique from others, is uh, there's a, what we call there's a, there's a person actually like and gets, uh, approach us and bring us to, to, uh, to all these five, like, like a tour guide actually. Yeah. Yeah. Because you are the VIP, yeah, maybe you have to be served like a VIP. Ah, okay. So I guess that's, that's where, that's where um, when it comes to customer experience, you know, yeah. when you're the key buyers, you, 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 you really wanted something. Okay. So what we are trying to do is to really understand what you want okay. and try to give you the kind of things that you might need. Okay. For example, you know, um, I give you a one scenario. Okay. You know, it happens to me uh, eight years ago when I was in Thailand. You know, okay. I went into the... I went into a... Uh, a car showroom. Okay. You know, I was dressed very corporate. You no, know. the, the sales girl just opened the door and straight away pushed me to the most expensive car. <laughs> well, actually, what I wanted was okay. to buy for the office five oh. Nissan March because we are thinking of going green. You know, oh, okay. we wanted to go for eco cars. Okay, okay. But without without asking what I need, they they try to push all the different models. Wow, okay. MPVs, luxury yeah, car. Yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. so in the end, it, I got turned off. Okay. No, because they don't even ask me what I want and, and, and that, that's how things change. So I think the, the, what we are trying to do now is to really understand your behaviours and what kind of things that you have indicated on your interest and we try to give you recommendations. And because you are a key buyers and I believe you have also fixed up some meetings along Correct. the way. That, uh, uh, so for us in our CRM system, you are okay. reported as well, important. IP. Not person. just VIP, but really, uh, um, for example, if if I if we don't bring you there, maybe okay. you you might be get distracted to some right. someone right. where the where the where the customer is actually there waiting for you, hoping to that you will pay them the visit. So, right. so so this kind of uh, experience that we are trying to close the loop, so that whenever you are interested to see something. We will try to uh, make sure that you get the help and assistance. Sometimes, like franchise show is a bit uh, big, and uh, there are more than three hundred over brands. Yeah, Sometimes uh, people don't finish the show in one day, yeah. and uh, and what we are hoping for is that since you really have a business meeting, let's bring you to that meeting first. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. So so that's that's how um, our our customer journey uh, um, is uh, mapped out. Mm. But it's not just one time. No, so it's a it's a closed loop industry. Uh, it's a closed loop uh, system. So that after that we will have to understand: Do you like it or not? What do you like about okay. it? What do you don't like about it? So the the surveys and all this is all feedback to to the process, and it start all over again. Mm. So year on year, we have to do everything again, reviewing processes to ensure that our customer experience is always at the at the front. We are not perfect. Yeah. Yeah? There's no way to be perfect. We just hope that we are above 50% mm. of what we want to achieve. Okay. And I think the goal is always there. Okay. And every year, it will, it will just move further. Maybe, can you uh, guide us? Uh, how do you create like, uh, this uh, customer, customer journey? Well, there's a lot of data points that we look into. Okay. You know, but I guess, uh, first thing first, is to, to always uh, to reach out to our customers okay. um, uh, and, and consolidating the process itself. Okay. So, so uh, from the time we always look into, from the time that you see, we got your data okay. through maybe through a, a friend's referral okay. or through the associations or through our uh, you finding us in in, okay. in uh, any other me could be from media etc. And that's how we start your the journey with you. Yeah. So we try to understand what kind of uh, what kind of things you would. Let's say, for example, you know, nowadays okay. everybody's using phone. Okay. You know, uh, how many how many percentage of our, our customers uses phone to register? Okay. So we we look at different platform and how how we're going to simplify the journey. In okay. fact, franchise itself, we have concluded that we are not perfect. We have okay. there are also a thousand and one things that we need to okay. improve okay. on. So these kind of things are ever changing. Okay. You know, in in the in the world of marketing, things change fast, you know, especially in the digital world. So we need to constantly. Um, 
improve on our processes to address the customer needs. So you even check like uh, whether this customer is actually registered through a mobile phone or yes, and what kind of mobile phone that you yeah. register? Oh, I will, even I, I will, okay. I will, I will, I will have a overall data. Okay, and then we will experience that. How come? How come you you spend only two point five? Two minutes and 30 seconds in our website. Oh, so, okay. so what is the average? Uh, um, where do you normally go? Okay. You know, is, are these what? What is the thing that when we try to let oh, you know more about okay. this, we are not you are not looking into our website. So all these things are always part and parcel of our 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 research, and uh, uh, getting all this data will actually help us to to create the kind of seamless journey for you. Mm. So, for example, we have hosted bias program. You know, uh, we. We don't just give hotels. No, nobody wants hotel if they stay near to the okay. exhibitions. Okay. But they will appreciate. They they did tell us that no. Why don't you have a car to take me out? Yeah. So we 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 customize our our hosted buyers okay. program, our business matching, okay. uh, to suit the customer needs. So okay. by it, by giving all these kind of recommendations okay. before the show, uh, it actually creates the kind of journey that hey, this is something that I'm I'm interested in rather than. I, Or again, you know, you are flooding me with twenty uh, things that I don't want. Okay. You know? So that's that's the that's the ever changing trend. Okay. So this thing, what you need now might not be what you need next year. So next year when you come into the show, we, your needs change. We okay. we give you a different recommendation. Okay. So right. it's by historical data. Uh, it's okay. by your imit your current. We will know you based on what what is your behavior in the past. In the past For example, okay. perhaps this last time uh, you prefer to be reached out by Facebook. Okay. You know? Then now you prefer to be, uh, maybe you have uh, uh, like promoted yeah. you know, or so, something. Ah. You know. So you you prefer to be uh, going through your secretary or okay. or so so things change. So we just okay. need to understand that um, what is what is the best way to reach out to you, because um, sometimes send, sending EDMs makes people turn off. Oh, okay. You know? uh, because if, if they keep see your EDM coming, wow, every day so then they uh, block. Okay, okay. So so it it happens, uh, okay. right? So so to get when people block you, it's very hard for you to unblock. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so so maintaining the customers' uh, satisfaction yeah. or we call it the net promoter score is always important. Maybe emails like now now like let's say they you you are spam spamming spamming emails send a lot of emails maybe they can put you under spams. Yes. So next time when whenever you send emails, they will go to spam. Or maybe now nowadays they like. Auto filter, what to promotions? Maybe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So these are the things that we always need to work with our top, our vendors. Yeah. Yeah. We are not we are not good in everything. Correct. So we 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 need to continue to be good in what we are doing, and then outsource things that we are not good to the professionals. Mm. Uh, for example, EDMs. You no, know, we we look into the the user friendliness of EDMs. You no, know, sometimes if you look at some of the some of the promotions, uh, wow, you have to. Open up, make it big, and then try to balance it and to, to see what is it. Okay. But if you look at into our system, we are we are improving, okay. we're improving, and uh, make sure that every every message that we give out is mobile friendly, mm, and okay. uh, whatever you phone you are using, whether it's an iPhone okay. uh, or is an Android old Android phone, you still can read mm. perfectly. Okay. Thank you, Pak Stephen, yeah. for helping us. Thank you for your insightful details, everything. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, itu saja dari Pak Sifan ya mengenai cara membangun uh, sebuah pameran yang sukses. Jadi planning untuk membangun satu pameran itu sebenarnya kompleks banget ya. Mulai dari cari vendor, uh, planning uh, venue-nya di mana, tanggalnya di mana, sampai uh, dari reg- prosesnya registrasi sampai selesai. Nah, tapi yang penting untuk semua bisnis itu adalah customer journey. Jadi customer journey itu kita harus um, mem- membuat proses uh, cust- uh, registrasi itu gampang sampai customer menemukan bisnis yang sesuai dengan kriteria mereka. Dan yang paling penting itu adalah customer experience. Dan uh, kapal aku kebetulan uh, kol- kolaborasi ya dengan uh, Rit Panorama untuk menyelenggarakan acara IME atau yang disebut Indonesia Maritime Expo 2019 yang akan diselenggarakan uh, di JIE Expo Kemayoran Jakarta. Uh, tanggalnya 16 sampai 18 Oktober uh, 2019. Uh, dan bagi teman-teman yang ingin datang bisa langsung daftar aja di bawah akan dikasih 
link untuk register 